In this video, I will show you how we can use fractal shapes to create artwork in Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Dhruval here and as you can see, this is the final output. Now for this tutorial, I will be actually using fractal shapes as you can see here that I downloaded from dvintart.com and also this stock photo and if you want to use all of this the download link is in video description so feel free to use it now to create this effect let's go to the original file and you can go to file and open any image you like so first of all let's select the crop tool and remove the watermark from here then confirm it now we have to remove the background so for that select a quick selection tool from here I'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger and it's on plus mode then go and make a selection now we need to remove selection from some places so for that select the minus option and remove it once you are done with selection go and click on this layer mask option so the background is gone after that go and create a new blank layer and put it under your model then select your paint bucket tool right click here paint bucket and fill in the black color from here total black now once again go and select your model press ctrl t uh, hold your shift key and make it smaller and adjust it according to your preference then go and confirm it after that select your layer mask right click and select refine mask then zoom in here as you can see we have some sharp edges so for that uh, increase your smoothness uh, increase the feather a little bit more and then increase the contrast so we have really uh, soft edges then uh, shift edge in the negative so we can get rid of the white part now it looks better then go and hit ok then once again right click on your layer mask and select refine mask but this time uh, you have to paint on this little parts of her dress uh, to bring it out so i'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger and paint it properly i think this looks good then go and hit ok now for this little part here uh, select your brush tool and make sure it is black color and then you make your brush like really really tiny uh, and remove it now that's looking pretty good and we can start working on the background so for the background select your background layer with black color right click select blending option and like every time we are going to use gradient overlay make it radial inverse it and make it scale all the way 150 but instead of this white color you have to select a black color i mean not completely black but a color that is really close to black and then you can change the tone so i'm gonna select a bluish tone uh, and as you can see it is really dark uh, so that is working pretty good then go and hit ok 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 and your background is ready now we can add shape for the background so for that go to file go to place and find the shapes that you downloaded and i think this will work really nice so i'm gonna select this one i'm gonna go and confirm it then change its blending mode to screen so we can get rid of the black background then select your move tool and move it aside now we have to make it a little bit bigger so i'm gonna press ctrl t uh, hold my shift key and make it really big uh, i think this big looks really good after that right click here and select warp and then you have to match its shape to the model so the way her body has curvature you're gonna try to give that same curve to your shape uh, so in the overall output it will complement the image really nice uh, so do your best i think that's looking pretty good then go and confirm it now we need to remove some parts so for that go and apply the layer mask on your shape layer then select your brush tool uh, and make sure you have a really soft round brush opacity 100% and your color is black now make your brush uh, really big uh, something like this and remove it from the areas where we don't need it 
Now that's looking really nice and we can start working on the model. So for that, uh, select a model layer, then go and create a new blank layer on top of that. Press shift backspace uh, and in the contents, make sure you have 50% gray, hit OK. Now go and change its blending mode to soft light so it will be invisible but then you have to select your dodge and burn tools from here so first of all i'm gonna start with the burn tool uh, it will make the things darker so wherever you see dark parts you have to paint on it my range is shadows and exposure is somewhere around 36 but you can change it as you want and before you start to paint right click here and select create clipping mask so it will only affect the model not the background now start painting where you see the dark parts as you can see now it's looking better and same for the highlight so right click here and this time select dodge tool my range is highlights and exposure i'm gonna make it somewhere around like 20 30 percent and now you have to paint where you see the highlights Now we have to adjust the color of the model so for that create a new adjustment layer and select color balance in the color balance make sure your preserve luminosity is on after that turn on your clipping mask so it will only affect the model then go to your highlights and add in a little bit of yellow now so i think minus 26 uh, looks good then go to your shadows and this time add in the blues so in the blues i think somewhere around like 13 percent or something looks really good then go and close it so you can see the difference now we have to add some shapes on top of the model so for that again go to file go to place and this time i'm gonna use this shape and place it go and confirm it uh, and i'm gonna go and change its blending mode to screen as you can see here now we have to remove this little bit of fringing so before that let's make it a little bit bigger so i'm gonna press ctrl t hold the shift key and let's make it a little bit bigger then go and confirm it after that right click here and select rasterize then go to image adjustment and select levels and here adjust your midtones now the fringe is gone and hit OK. Now we have to remove this unnecessary dots. So for that, uh, select your eraser tool uh, and make sure that the hardness here is 0% and then simply go and erase it. Now it's looking really good and we can add in more shapes. So for that, go to file, place and this time I'm going to go and select this shape, place it, confirm it and change its blending mode to screen now again press ctrl t rotate it a little bit i'm gonna hold my shift key and make it bigger uh, i want this yellow part on her waist so i'm gonna right click and select warp and then i'm gonna change it in a way so the yellow part uh, wraps around her waist really nice uh, so perfect now go and confirm it let's zoom out now we have to remove this unnecessary area so i'm gonna right click on my layer and select rasterize then my eraser is ready and i'm gonna go and remove it that's looking really nice now again go to file place and i'm gonna select the same shape uh, so go and place it and this time i'm gonna rotate it this way uh, and put it on her heels confirm it let's change the blending mode to screen so we can see properly so this is here uh, and let's zoom in a little bit so i want this shape to be here so i'm gonna press ctrl t right click warp and this time i'm gonna adjust in a way so it looks like it's coming from the hill after that go and confirm it now to remove unnecessary area right click 
select rasterize eraser is ready and just erase it let's make it a little bit smaller so press ctrl t then hold your alt and shift key then make it smaller so it will stay in the place uh, so that's looking really good then go and confirm it let's add one more shape so go to file All the shapes are looking really good and let's do some color correction. So for that, create new adjustment layer and select brightness and contrast. Add a little bit of brightness. I think this looks really good. Close it. Now again, create new adjustment layer and this time select vibrance. In the vibrance, uh, make it all the way 100% and then come down. Uh, so I think somewhere around, let's say 70 looks really good. Close it. Now the skin is also very colorful so for that uh, select your brush tool and since we have layer mask you can paint with black color and remove it from the skin. Now the skin looks better. After that go and create another adjustment layer and select curves. In the curves go to your blue channel here and add little bit of blue but when you do this make sure you don't overdo it okay. Uh, so I think this is more than enough then go and close it as you can see and the final effect is ready uh, I will actually go here and remove this a little bit so let's select the eraser and remove it it's looking distracting nothing else so now it's looking better so that's it and this is the final output so I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did Hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, uh, feel free to ask me in comment section below. Till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.